Hey y'all, hey y'all, think I'm live now. How's everybody doing out there? Instagram, Facebook, how's everybody doing on this Tuesday evening? Okay, I just decided to add to my title, so I had to go ahead and uh, put it up there. I felt like I'm a little shiny. It's a little warm in here tonight. Mm. Okay. Read my title there, Accountability Crash Course. Who is it for? Okay. Just give me one second. Wipe some of that oil off, some of that sweat. All right, all right, all right. Uh-oh. Now, of course, I'm recording now. My battery is low, right? On my uh, phone. I'm not going to be able to plug it in. But um. so at any rate, good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome to Evening Motivation with Jackie. I am yours truly, Jackie. I do Evening Motivation every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We just kind of get together, kind of get together and basically share different tools and techniques to help you to increase your confidence, right? To create unshakable confidence. Let me be more specific. To create unshakable confidence, allowing you to show up consistently and boldly and with intention in your business, increasing your impact, right? and actually drawing your ideal client to you. All right, so that is what I do. That is the purpose of Evening Motivation with Jackie. And like I said, I'm here. <clears throat> Usually I try to stream live on Instagram at the same time. Oh, you know what, let me share it out, I almost forgot. I'm, I'm, not, I'm doing it for my personal profile and I'm really not used to doing it for my personal profile. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just sharing it out. Uh, shoot. Sorry, I was looking for one more group. Oh my God, now I'm looking for it. I can't find it. But at any rate, now that I'm looking for it, I cannot find it. <laughs> but I typically, I wanted to go ahead and share it out. So I'm starting to sweat a little bit again. I got this light on. So at any rate, what I wanted to do tonight was I want to talk to you ladies about my, as you see it there in yellow, my accountability crash course, right? And actually who it is for. And basically why you would benefit, why you would benefit from this crash course, okay? Um, so I'm veering a little bit. I'm veering a little bit from what I typically do, you know, but I, I, I felt that I, I at least wanted to do this a few times just to give you ladies an opportunity really to understand the purpose of it, to see if it's a good fit for you, okay? So again... I'm a confidence and success coach, and I work specifically with African-American women that have coaching and or consulting businesses, right? And so this crash course, again, is for those African-American women that have a coaching and or consulting business, whether you sell, you know, a product of some kind, um, maybe paparazzi, that's the first thing that comes off the top of my head, or if you are a if you are a consultant in a sense that maybe you go into other uh, companies and speak to leadership, you know, maybe do leadership or staff development. If you are a coach yourself, you know, whether it be a fitness coach, you know, a wellness coach, a mental health coach, business coach, whatever it is, whatever type of coaching you do, right? Those, you are my target. Okay. So now here's the thing. So I just identified some of the different groups that I work with or whom this training is for. Now, let me go a little bit further. Accountability crash course. Now, of course, 
accountability crash course, of course, right? Okay. Of course, when you hear accountability, what does that mean to you? When I hear accountability, I think of basically being held accountable, right? Because a lot of times we throw goals out there. We say we're going to do this. We say we're going to do that. And we just don't do it, right? For whatever the reason. Or maybe we start, but we don't finish, right? Or we start up, we get real motivated, we get real excited, and we have the best intentions, but we just kind of fall off. But the end result is it doesn't get done, right? Or we don't do it consistently or we don't finish, right? So like I said, it could be a couple of reasons, and I'm not going to go into all of them, but the end result is like procrastinating and just not getting stuff done, right? Just not being able to move forward consistently. Because if you're not being consistent in your business and doing doing those consistent activities that you know you need to do, what does that mean? You're not going to yield the results that you are looking to create, right? How can you if you're not being consistent? So that's two parts. So like I said, it is for coaches and consultants. And for those individuals, those coaches and consultants said, no, you have all these goals, you have these plans for your business. And for whatever the reason, they just don't get done. Right. Like I said, you procrastinate or maybe you start and you lose your motivation. Um, maybe you get overwhelmed and you just don't finish it or you just kind of fall off. Right. So I know that there's quite a few of us, if we're honest, from time to time can fall into that or fit into that, that category or have experienced this. Right. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that have experienced this, um, this procrastination you know, where we start off with something and we get real excited, we get real motivated. And the next thing you know, somebody check in with us like a month later or shoot, sometime even two, three weeks later. And we'd be like, oh yeah, well, kind of stopped that, kind of fell off, right? And the thing of it is, if you want to create the, truly create the business as well as the lifestyle that you truly desire, as well as deserve, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. That falling off and being inconsistent, it's just, it, it's not going to yield the type of results that you want to, it's not going to bring you the type of results that you want to achieve, right? So that is the purpose for the accountability crash course. So basically, <clears throat> basically what we do is we meet two sessions and the first one is, is a, it's, it's an intensive, I'll say intensive. <clears throat> excuse me, because we typically meet for an hour and a half to two hours. Sometimes it may go a little over the two hours, just depending on, you know, how much we have to sort through. So I just want you to know I'm not, I'm not opposed. It's not like I have a timer. And as soon as that two hour mark hits, it's like, all right, okay, bye. You know what I mean? But just to give you an idea, it's usually between an hour and a half to two hours, and we just basically lay everything out um, and figure out where we're going to go from here. Figure out what's what's the most, what you really want to achieve, right? Because the thing of it is, we have, as a business owner, and I know you, you ladies know this, as a business owner, we could have a million and one goals, right? We might want to do a podcast. We might want to um, create and maintain a blog. We might have a goal to do a website, you know, get a, maybe get our website redone. Um, we may have a goal to <clears throat> um, create a couple of programs. You know, maybe we want to, maybe we want to launch a mastermind, you know. Um, oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> Thank you for joining. Maybe you want to launch a mastermind, you know, whatever, whatever it is, right? The point is we have multiple goals multiple things that we are working on in our business. Maybe we want to build up our email marketing system. Maybe we want to create a more effective uh, lead magnet for our business, right? Or a couple of lead magnets. Maybe we have one, maybe one another one, right? And I think my phone might cut off soon too. So Instagram, let, let me just apologize in advance. Um, I didn't have a chance to charge my phone and I can't, I can't charge it now while I'm actually recording. So it may, you know, it may cut off shortly, but if it does, you can always go to my Facebook personal page or my business page and see the rest of this video. So 
<clears throat> so anyway, so we have a lot of different goals, a lot of different irons in the fire and different things that we're doing for our business, right? And it compounds it. Like if you have a family, like we have, you know, minor children, you know, other responsibilities, you know, a husband, right? If you're working, you know, working a regular full-time job as well. So we have a lot of different moving pieces in our lives and different things that we have to manage and keep track of, right? So sometimes, oh, hi, how are you? I ain't talked to you in a while. You've been okay? Um, so, you know, so some, sometimes, not sometimes, probably all the time, right? Right, ladies, I know you know, you know what I'm talking about. We have a lot going on. So it's very, so, so we, we may have all of these multiple goals that we want to do in our business. And sometimes we may get a little overwhelmed. So that, that was where I was going with that. You may get a little overwhelmed at times. You might want, like I said, you might want to do four, five, six different things in your business, but you like, oh my God, I don't know where to start. You know, I don't really, you know, I'm having trouble prioritizing it, right? I don't know if I should do this first or if I should do that, right? So that is part of that initial um, intensive, that initial sit down, you know, trying to figure out, yes, you want to do X, Y, and Z, but what is most important for right now? Or what's most important, what's most, what is the major goal maybe that you want to achieve in the second quarter, right? Let's just say. Um, oh, life's been a little full. <laughs> is that, is that, that's a good thing though, right? I'm assuming. Um, yeah, my, mine too. I have just been so busy. <laughs> so, you know, so let, let's say we might want to focus on what we want to do for the, for the second quarter of the year, maybe, you know, plan it for the third quarter. And, but you have all of these different things that you want to do, but you're just having a little difficulty or sometimes it just helps just to sit down with someone else and just kind of sort through it all. And like really just kind of talk through what is the most important thing that you want to achieve right now, right? Not that everything's not important, but you understand that you can't do everything at one time, right? There's no way you're going to do every single, you know, you're just not, you're not going to be able to manage like everything at once. And the thing of it is, some of us are better than others with doing that, right? But a lot of us, I would say the average person can juggle some things, but you end up juggling so much to the point where you're falling off in some areas. You know what I mean? Maybe where you're not doing anything well, or you're just kind of doing it mediocre because you're juggling so much, right? So that's part of it. <clears throat> that sitting down <clears throat> Hmm. Take a sip of my water. That's sitting down and actually laying everything out and figuring out what you want to achieve first and just going from there, right? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep, this is, yep you, you can't do it all. You might think you can, <laughs> but like I said, some areas will suffer, right? Or either you're going to suffer mentally, physically, spiritually. Maybe you end up sick all the time or. Um, maybe from lack of sleep, you'll be irritable all the time, whatever the case is, right? But the thing of it is, we don't want to stretch ourselves that thin. We don't want to stretch ourselves that thin. And we don't want to basically like 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 half do it. I mean, I know I don't. Like in my business, you know, who, who, I, who I serve is who I serve. And I want to be able to serve people in the best way possible, right? Right. Oh, mom say doing everything and what I had to move my phone over and mastering none. And, yep, master of nothing. My father would say, um, what did he say? A jack of all trades, a master of none. You know, that it's that kind of, um, and I remember when he used to say that, I used to be so mad with him. I used to be like, when you stop saying that? You know, because it really didn't, I, I didn't really care at the time I was younger. You know, I really wasn't trying to listen to what he was saying, right? But now that I'm older, I know exactly what he means by that now. You know, you can do this, you can do that, you can run over here and do this, you can commit yourself to that. But the thing of it is, you're going to end up running yourself ragged, you're going to run yourself thin, and <clears throat> you're not going to be able to do a good job. Something is going to fall off, and you're not going to be able to maintain it, right? Yep, you're not going to be able to maintain it. And that can contribute to you crashing and burning, and you don't want that, right? You don't want that. So, again, part of it is that first intensive session is sitting down and really just kind of talking this out. I mean, of course, there's a little work you have to do prior to even starting the session. And the reason we do that is to see where you are, 
and to get a little clearer on what it is you want to tackle, to try to make the most of the session, right? So we do that initial session. Like I said, you get some pre-work. Let's call it pre-work. You get a few things that you have to work on prior to the session. Then we do the session. Like I said, it's usually two, what did I say? It's usually an hour and a half to two hours, maybe a little bit longer, just depending on how much we have to go through. And we map everything out. We talk, you know, we prioritize it. We maybe combine. We maybe put some things, you know, a little bit further on the back burner and decide what we're going to focus on and how we're going to tackle it, right? How we're going to tackle it, how you're going to move forward. We put together, we put together your plan, to, you know, together, right? It's not just someone giving, it's not just me giving it to you, but we come up with it together, what's feasible, right? What's feasible for you to do. I mean, and, and in terms of the pace that you're going to do it, like I said, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and um, what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, your pace, and, and how we're going to measure it. That's what I want to say at the end, how we're going to measure it. How do we know that you have effectively completed a particular task, right? We have to set up some sort of, we have to have some sort of an idea on what that looks like, <clears throat> right? What does the finished product look like? So we get all of that mapped out. And then we meet two weeks after that. It's like a follow-up. And then that way, if you have additional questions, you could ask additional questions, you know, right off the bat or, you know, to go over it, you know, find out what you've done, what you haven't done, what you found difficulty or what you found difficult while doing it. Right. Like what sort of um, barriers have you run into? And we'll address those barriers to try to make things go uh, smoother. Right. And then in that and let me back up a little bit. And between that first intensive session and your second follow up session. I am available via email as well as um, messenger, you know, to ask questions during, you know, regular business hours between nine, Monday through Friday, nine to five. So if you just read something, or you're thinking about something, you're not quite sure, just, you know, shoot me a message, you know, and I'll I'll get back to you. Like I said, as long as it's, you know, within business hours. But because I know sometimes I may sit down to do something and I think I understand it. I think I got everything. But then, you know, something happens. I'm like, dang, I got a question. You know, so I totally understand that. And, you know, I'm there. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. Just talk a little bit about it. Because um, I'm sometimes I'm a lot better with explaining things. Um, like, you know, actually speaking it out versus writing. So I just wanted to give you a sense of really of what the course was about. And like I said, it's for individuals who know that they want to take their business to the next level. You can be, you could have just started your business. You could have been in business for two years or three years, let's just say. But you know that you want to do more in your business. You know that your business is not where you want it to be, right? And you know that that is a, a result of either you procrastinating Right. Or just getting easily overwhelmed or just basically just trying to do too much at one time to the point we have a difficulty getting organized. Right. Because a lot of us know what we want to do. We it's a lot that we want to do, but we have trouble getting organized or we get overwhelmed or we just start to procrastinate. Right. For whatever the reason, there's a lot of different reasons why we procrastinate or why we get overwhelmed. Everyone is different, but it all looks the same when it's all, when, when the chips fall, it all looks the same, which is not doing nothing or not doing as much as you could be doing and basically not achieving the different goals that you have set for yourself. You're not meeting your markers, right? You're like falling short. And if you're tired of that, let's sit down together and let's go through it. So that's the accountability crash course. So I'm also going to include the link as well. So you can, you know, read it over, think it over, you know, whatever you need to do to, you know, be able to make a decision. And also, too, ladies, if you click on the link and you read it and you still have additional questions, because I may think I have been thorough. Right. But it's, you know, it's always possible that, you know, there may be questions. So I'm always open to questions. So let's say you click on the link and you're not really quite sure about something. Um, send me a message, you know, send me a, 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 a message through a messenger. I'm usually pretty fast with Messenger. That's why I say that. Um, so send me a message through through a Messenger, or I'll also put my email address in there too, which is realizing your potential. The number is one two three at gmail .com. So I'll also put that in the comments too. So I put my email in there. You can shoot me an email at any time. 
I'm always up real late. I need to stop that, but I'm like a night owl. Um, or either, like I said, send me a private private message, or you can yeah, you can send me a private message, and you can do that either by maybe we're already connected on Messenger, or either you can go directly to my Facebook business page and send me a message, which is realizing your potential one two three. Again, that's my Facebook business page. All right, so that was twenty three minutes. That's also something else that I'm working on. I'm trying to keep my broadcast short. I used to go for like 40, 45 minutes, right? And then I said, okay, you know what? That's just too long. That's just too long because we all get a million and one things to do. So then I said, okay, I'm going to do 30 minutes. I had been doing pretty good with 30 minutes. Now I'm kind of trying to chop it down <clears throat> a little more. So I said 25, 25 minutes and I'm doing pretty good. It's like 10, 23. So I'll go ahead and wrap up. So again, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I'll put my email address here. I will also put the link in. So shoot me an email or either uh, send me a, a private message asking any questions that you may have. And yeah, so check it out. So again, let me go ahead and conclude. This is Evening Motivation with Jackie. This takes place every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I stream live from I w either from my Facebook business page or from my personal page, with, you know, whichever. Um so, like I said, if you're on Instagram and you want to see any other videos, or even even um, you ladies on Facebook too, I also have a YouTube channel. And I don't know if I'm what well, you know. I probably include this. I don't know if I'll include that link too. I don't like to get too too link happy in the comments, you know. But I do have all of my A Queens Roundtable shows that I've done with different guests um, on my YouTube channel, which is uh, also realizing your potential. So. At any rate, so anyway, so every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I stream live. Usually I, I give you different tips. Well, yeah, different, different tips. This is a little different today, but I wanted, I really kind of wanted to take a couple of the episodes and just talk a little bit more about the course. Because like I said, sometimes, you know, I know I'm an I'm a audio person. I like to hear it. When I hear it, I understand better. So I want to take an opportunity to do that. So sharing all different sorts of tips. And techniques basically so you can be a better person as well as a better business owner right so you can be able to create unshakable confidence and show up in your business consistently boldly and with intention to be able to draw out your ideal client and have them come to you where you don't have to chase after them right that they see you and hear your message and it speaks directly to them and they know that you are the coach or the consultant for them, the person that they want to work with. So that's what I do. Um, <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and leave it at that. My name is Jacqueline Kabai Harrison. I'll just, you know, give my little, give my name again at the end. I'm, I, you know, I always say it once in the beginning, once in the end. I know some of you may know me. Some may have just be scrolling through and may not know who I am. So that's me. Jacqueline Kabai Harrison. I'm a confidence and success coach. And I work specifically with African American women that have coaching and or consulting businesses. All right. So 1026. All right. All right. All right. So I went a minute over. Okay. So everyone have a good, good evening. What's left of it? Um, it's kind of late here, Eastern Standard Time, but have a good night. Rest easy. Thank you so much for those that have joined. Thank you so much. So much appreciated. And again, if you have any questions, let me know. And Instagram, I'm going to say goodnight to you first. Okay, I always end on Instagram first. Okay, Facebook, y'all have a wonderful evening. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon.